Hello, welcome to the Tuesday, November 12th, 2019 edition of the Sands and its Storms and its Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. I've got sort of a flashback from back in 2014 today. A reader asked us why they're seeing all these attacks that trigger the moon signature in their IDS. Well, the moon was a worm that we described back in 2014. It attacked Linksys routers. Now, the signature that's commonly triggered here and that's still triggered today triggers on a particular exploit that the moon worm used back then. Now, since then, of course, things have evolved a little bit. The exploit has changed slightly, but it still triggers these old signatures that essentially just look for the tmunplug.cgi and then the ttcpip parameter that triggers this particular vulnerability. Like so many exploits, this one has been included in a bot that uses multiple exploits against routers. It identifies itself with the user agent Licker 1.0. Now, the real question, of course, here is, is it a problem for you? How serious are these attacks? They essentially will hit any web server listening on port 80. 80. Whether or not the web server is vulnerable or not, the signature itself just detects the attempt, as the message also says, not necessarily a successful attempt. Most likely, you'll get a 404 error back because this TM unblock CGI script only exists in specific Linksys routers. If you have one of those Linksys routers, well, I hope you patched it in the last five years. Otherwise, it's probably long gone and compromised. Now, and as a reminder to not let patching fall behind, Magento about a month ago updated to version 2.3.3 and with this update fixed a remote code execution vulnerability. This vulnerability has been exploited starting essentially with the release of the patch. So double check and make sure that you're either running Magento 2.3.3 or 2.3.3. 2.2.10 if you're still on the 2.2 branch of Magento. If you're still on 2.1, well, that branch is no longer supported. And according to Adobe, which distributes Magento, you should go straight to 2.3.3 in this case. Well, if you delay these patches too long, then you may be joining Sonalarm. Sonalarm, a security company that has been purchased by Checkpoint, has had its V Bulletin forum compromised. Apparently the vulnerability being used here was patched in September, which isn't well really that long, but as soon as a patch was released, it became obvious that this vulnerability had been exploited in a few cases even before the patch came out. So it was really an actively exploited zero day vulnerability. And a week after the patch was released, the Komodo forum, so another security related website, was breached using this vulnerability. Well, a son alarm still hadn't patched yet, so they actually had the luck, I guess, in that it took apparently two months for the attacker to breach their site. As usual, the advice is to change your password on the forum if you're still interested in the account and hopefully you used a different password for different sites. And then I always like to learn from write-ups about bug bounties. An interesting one I came across today from Matt Langlois regarding a vulnerability in Slack. The problem here was that Slack allows customizing the style sheet. Now, they weren't really all that careful in actually 
validating the input a user submitted. So instead of just submitting a color, you could actually submit an entire style sheet fragment. What Matt was able to do is now inject a style sheet that would actually allow keystroke logging within Slack. A pretty neat exploit and I think a quite common vulnerability actually whenever applications do allow to actually customize the style sheet. And of course in Slack's case, a lot of the backend is really JavaScript and CSS and HTML because it's built on top of the Electron framework, making it even more vulnerable to some of these attacks. Well, and that's it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.